guys, it's Kelly from Glamour Girl Guide, and today um, I have a special request from a very special Instagram friend, um, Andrea, that's all I know her name. She lives in Florida, and um, she's always, you know, likes my pictures or likes what I post, and I just wanted to, a shout out to her. Um, she Instagrammed me this today and said, you have the most beautiful wing eyeliner. I really wish you would show us how to do it. Now, I'm gonna do a preface here that I am not perfect with wing liner. I'm just gonna show you what I do. Um, and it doesn't always turn out. Some days I'm like, that looks like crap. And again, the biggest problem with it is getting them to match. So that is my biggest problem that I have. I can do like one eye like perfect and then the other eye I'm like, oh God, I think I effed up on that. Um, so I'm going to do that today and then I've got some product rev reviews that I want to talk about a little bit and I hope you guys are doing good. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on in the beauty community. I'm glad I'm not part of any of that. I don't ever want to be part of any of that. Um, that sounds like a nightmare and again, that's not why I ever do uh, YouTube. It's to um, just help you guys. Just like me watching um, videos has helped me got, get to where I can um, am with my makeup routine. So um, I really want to talk about my eye look really quick before I put on my eyeliner because I didn't do eyeliner today because some days I just don't feel like doing it. So, you know, I am um, always looking for stuff on a budget. Sorry, my dog is downstairs barking because we have an electrician here and I'm like, just quit barking. So it might be a minute. Anyway, um, I went on the internet and I went on Amazon and I saw this, a couple of really cool palettes that had some really good reviews on it. And uh, the one that I have on today is called Twilight. And I would um, I would probably compare it to the Huda Beauty, um, but this is eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine, guys. Mm, Huda Beauty is sixty five, I think, from Sephora. Yeah. So anyway, I just want to talk about this because I think that there's a lot of things out there, you guys, that you can get for cheap um, that are pretty good quality, and I just would check out the reviews on them. Um, but this is by a company named Dust Pellet You Can Be. So, pretty simple. Um, I haven't tried the, the sparkly color yet, but um, anyway, I'm really excited about it. Um, and it turn, the, the pigment is there. It just, you know, it pops, it stays all day. I've gotten 100 compliments on it. I've used it two days in a row, and I just, everybody's like, oh, your eyes just popped out, you know, and I'm like, what? I don't know. I used an $8.99 palette. Um, so again, it's Twilight and it's on Amazon.com. It's $8.99 Prime. Okay, so I'm kind of nervous. I really haven't ever done anything like this on on my YouTube channel. So if I kind of screw it up, sorry. But this is kind of what I do. Um, the one thing I, I have black eyeliner and I really love the Fenty. Fenty came out with one, um, and it's really, really good. But when I wear like softer colors, I like to wear a like a brown eyeliner. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Marilyn Monroe didn't wear black eyeliner; she wore brown eyeliner, and because her makeup artist said that it would be softer on her face because she was so pale, and she wore a big lip, and that the black would just really kind of make it too much. So I would highly recommend a brown eyeliner. And um, I guess I'll we'll start here. <laughs> um, where I really start, guys, is that I always start at the corner. So I start right here at the end and I just kind of go out. And then, you know, you don't have to do like too far. So do you see that? I just kind of went out with the wing. Then I come over here, like almost into the middle of my eye, and I just draw a line. Just draw a line. It goes right 
to it, right? Then I just fill it in. that in. See? It's filled in. So then I just kind of go to the very top of my eye, very end of my eye, and I just make kind of a line. And then I kind of go back just like that. So that's how I do a winged eye. I'll do the other one and um, show you guys again. I just start at the very corner of my eye. And I shut my eyes sometimes because it makes it easier to kind of draw the line. And then I kind of look on both sides to make sure, okay, does this look like it's that long or did I start there so it's even? And then again, I just take in the middle of my eye and I just draw a line out to the end of my eye and then fill it in. Some eyes are easy, like I think my left eye is easier to do than my right eye it seems like, um, but you know that's just me, maybe it's because it's you know, it's my right hand doing my left eye. I don't know. So it really takes just a lot of practice. I would recommend, you know, doing it over and over again until you finally feel like you've mastered it because it took me and it still takes me forever to do it. I mean, that took not so bad a time but it also matters on the products I like this um, prestige um, liquid eyeliner and I got it on um, Amazon too and it was very very inexpensive um, but it is amazing what eyeliner can do to your eye it really does open it right up and it really does like add a dimension to your eye so I really hope that helps Andrea or I, I don't know how you say it, Andrea or Andrea. Um, I hope that helps. Um, but I think f for even older women, I think we, you know, brown is a good color because it really doesn't. I think black sometimes overwhelms a little bit. Um, so you know, I mean, I'm always, I'm, I always do a nude lip most of the time, except for the like the winter time around Christmas. I'll do reds or burgundies. Um, but I just think it matters, you know, for older women to have a little bit less going on, you know, in their eye, especially if they have a lot of eyeshadow on, which I do. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. It isn't really that hard. It's just practice, 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 practice. That's my total, um, recommendation. It just, it takes time and this is not perfect by any means. I mean... If I really wanted to be perfect, like if I was going out, I would take, you know, and I would definitely take some concealer and make sure that's the very, very, very sharp edge. I don't know if I can, you guys can, I can't really zoom in on that, I'm sorry. Um, but I would, I would take it, you know, and clean it up and you can just, it, it just takes time. And, you know, a makeup wipe will take it right off and then you just fill it in a little bit with some foundation and then try again. Try, 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 try again. Okay, so anyway, that's me putting on makeup on YouTube. You finally saw me do that. Well, I think you got ready with me video. If you ever watch that, watch that. That's kind of fun. Um, so I have some really fun products I want to talk about. Um, gosh, I don't even know where to start. I really, really, really um, want to talk about another product that I completely just, I feel like just, I don't know where she went and I don't know why. You know, VH Cosmetics is, is really like a ColourPop uh, type um, 
place. I mean, they have some really inexpensive but high quality makeup. And I bought this palette for I think less than $20. And it's actually got two sides to it. So she's got Kabong, which is some beautiful colors. Look at that beautiful, like, oh, what is that called? Avocado. It's like a green color. It's so pretty. And then on the other side, she's got like pinks and purples and oranges and burgundies and I use that as like a base coat underneath. I always use a, a light base coat underneath my eyeshadow along with a primer just so that it stays. Because I do have oily skin and you know the oils can seep it into your skin. So um, The other one from VH Cosmetics that I've been using lately and I used today and I probably need to re reuse it because I'm looking a little a little not bright. Well, you can see the highlight right here. Yeah. So it's called the Nude Rose Palette from VH Cosmetics. And I'm telling you guys, you don't need to spend a lot of money. I mean, they're, you know, I am all about Anastasia and her Amorezzi highlighter. I, I, I love that. It's gorgeous. But you can have a budget and, you know, get some really good colors. I mean, this has all of them, you know, beautiful. So, you know, I just make sure that I always stay just right on the cheek, right above the cheekbone. You know, you don't want to go out too much further because if you do, then your pores will look huge and nobody wants that. Um, and then, you know, I usually don't use this big of a brush on my nose because I usually like, um, contour so it makes it look thinner so if you have a big stripe down your nose with a bunch of highlight it, it just doesn't look that good so I try and you know keep it like in the very 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 center of my nose and I always put it on my lips like right above my lips and on my chin and that's a really good way of just keeping things really bright right now I've been wearing this makeup since 7 a.m. this morning I used my favorite powder in the whole world, the Kat Von D Locket in light. Whoops, there goes the. This is just the stuff is amazing. It's it's a powder, but it doesn't leave your face all chunky and gross, old school, powdery stuff. So anyway, um, highly recommend these two from BH Cosmetics. Um, Give them a try. They have great liquid lips. They have great single eyeshadow palettes or single eye, you know, singles you can get. You can put in your own. They just have everything. I love them. Um, the next thing that I'm totally excited about, and you probably could guess, I got the Sipping Pretty from Kylie Jenner. And I couldn't be more pleased. Honestly, this is an expensive palette. And she's expensive, but I love her color stories. I, you know, I can grab this and I can make so many looks with this. So, you know, yeah, it's worth the $45 to me, you know, and I'll have this a long time because, you know, I have so many belts. I try and not use the same one every day. I try and go in and use the different ones so I can get really good, you know, which one I want to use that day. And I've been using, actually this week I've been using these three, the Twilight, the Shannon XO, the Remix, and Sydney Pretty. And I love it. I totally love it. I've been using this primer, the All Star Primer, from ColourPop. And I can honestly say this is really good too. And their setting spray. So it comes together. Um, and I can honestly say I really like it. Um, I was hesitant because... You know, primers have kind of like this reputation of, do they work? Are they really necessary? You know, do they really help your makeup stay on longer? Um, I think it depends on your skin and I also think it depends on the brand that you buy and how well it works on your skin. So, you know, what works on me may not work on you, but it's worth a try because I think it's only 10 bucks. So, you know, I thought, well, why not? 
Um, the other thing I got that is super fun from Kylie is I love her matte liquid lip or li lipsticks. You know, I'm a very matte girl. And I got this in um, August and I love it. It is so beautiful. It's, it's a little dry, like, you know, to put on. But I really like it. I do. It's very, very flattering. And it's a nude pink kind of color. So it can kind of go with whatever makeup you have going on. Um, I did get the Jeffree Star Liquid Frost. And I have mixed reviews about this. Um, I don't know if I was, you know, if I was using it wrong or if I just use too much or, or what, but I, oops, I, I don't know. I don't know as I'm sitting here putting on more highlighter. Um, I think it's pretty and I think it's blinding for sure. Um, I guess I'm just not the biggest fan of like liquid uh, highlighters because it's messy. As you can see why I'm doing this, I mean, it's kind of going all over the place. Um, I think it might be good for your body, like your hand, you know, like look at how pretty that is. Um, maybe on your chest or, you know, on your body somewhere, but I just think that it's kind of messy to try and put on your face because you're... You're kind of um, playing around with your foundation a little bit, and then it also can go a little too far, so it ends up, you know, where you're not wanting it to highlight, which is your pores, which it just kind of did. So, um, do I love it? No, but do I hate it? No. I think it just is going to take some time to get used to working with it. Um, kind of like the Iconic um, liquid um, highlighter. I like it. Um, I like it. I mix it sometimes with my foundation if I'm going out at night, um, but I don't really reach for it. And, you know, I got this because I thought it, you know, I got it in peach, I think. And I thought it would be kind of fun to have on my chest, on my legs, um, for the end of the, you know, till it's September, so we're almost out of uh, summer, but I really do think it's pretty on like my lips and stuff um and it is pretty blinding on my face I mean here I don't know if you guys can see that but it is you know so you know I am a big fan of his products I think he has uh, I have another product I'm going to talk about and that is the uh, sarcophagus highlighter oh yeah mm -hmm. this is uh, very highly recommended very highly from glamour girl guide I love it it is so beautiful on especially right when you you know and I love to put my highlighter on like just after I've got all my makeup on and I'm like you know it just adds one more element to it everybody puts it on differently or at different times but I always put it on like towards the, like at the very end and then I spray my face with setting spray and it just I feel just so illuminized and so alive and um, I think that's the best part about highlighters and you know they've been around forever they use this in um, stage makeup a lot you know since the 30s you know I don't know why we're just figuring this out now but uh, I'm glad we did, and Jeffree Star does it really, really well. I like all of his highlighters. This is just, you know, it's hard to work with liquid on, on your face, I think. I mean, unless you are a super pro and you, you know, you've been doing it a while, and I mean, again, that's like my second time I've done it, so I just feel like I might have overdone it, but, you know, what can you do? Um... So that's it for this video. Um, I just want to say I love all you guys and I really love that um, I'm getting some support. You guys are subscribing to my channel and um, please comment and let me know what you want. Um, I do. I will be doing a Holy Grail 
uh, video up next because I, you know, I have so much, but I was thinking, what would I, like, if I had to go away and be away for a while, what would I really, really want to bring? I mean, like, the basics. So I'll be doing that um, and more to come. So um, I hope you have a great evening, day, night, whenever you're watching this. Know that I love you and thank you for subscribing and commenting. And if you want to hit the little bell, you'll know when I have uploaded again. Okay, so for now, I'll talk to you guys later. XOXO. Bye.